So the patient's going to arrive in a supine position. They'll often be on a backboard. It's full spinal precaution. So move, motion of the patient will be impossible. We're going to choose our transducer. We have chosen the phased array transducer. We're going to put a little gel on top of it. And we're going to, I like to put the probe marker toward the patient's head, toward the axilla, at about the mid axillary line, 10th or 11th ribs. Another easy tip to find out the location is get to the costal margin, go about three finger breaths above it, and you should be able to find the kidney and see the adjacent liver. I'm just adjusting my gain here. And already I can see the interface between the kidney and the liver, which is Morrison's pouch. So what we see here on the bottom, this uh, crescent-shaped organ is the kidney. Above it, we see the liver. And just to the left side of the screen, we see the diaphragm. So when I'm examining this area, I'm going to carefully scan through the entire area of Morrison's pouch including at the liver tip. So we see this whole area here looking for an anechoic stripe. An anechoic stripe would be indicative of free fluid. I'm also identifying the diaphragm. So when I look at the diaphragm, this is the hyperechoic or white line to the left side of the screen, and I should be able to see that pretty easily. And you can see what appears to be liver on both sides of the diaphragm on the bottom far left of the screen. That is mirror artifact and is a normal finding. If the patient had a pleural fluid collection and after trauma that would be a hemothorax, we would see an anechoic or black area in this location.